Hello, welcome to the first session on algebraic expressions and identities. We assume you have uh, quite uh, well acquainted with the terms like constant, variable, binomial, monomial, trinomial, the algebraic expressions and also factors, coefficients. So I just move on to take the first part, uh, the first topic of this uh, chapter that's addition of algebraic expressions. I'll just write it down here. It addition of algebraic expressions. Hmm? Here we learn to add the algebraic expressions. The first one I better write the question down first. This is a very simple one that is 7x square. In addition of algebraic expressions, the first part is to collect all the like terms. 7x square minus 4x plus 5. This is the first expression. The second being minus 3x square plus 2x minus 1. And the third one being 5x square minus x plus 9. We have to add all these expressions. So, it being 7x square minus 4x plus 5 plus minus 3x square plus 2x minus 1 and then there is plus you have 5x square minus x plus 9. Let me put all of them in bracket. The first step is being just to remove the bracket. So let the first expression be as it is. When we are removing bracket as you did it in we have learned that plus into minus gives us minus and there is a plus and plus gives us another plus. And this plus and minus gives us a minus 1. Plus 5x square minus x plus 9. Now we, the next step is to collect all the like terms together. So, how do we collect all the like terms? It's 7x square. This is the other one. It's minus 3x square. There is one more x square here. So, it is plus y, 5x square. Then we collect all the x together. So, this is minus 4x. Here you have a plus 2x and then there is a minus x. So it is plus 5 minus 1 plus 9. Now I will add or subtract as it is like 7 minus 3 gives us 4. 4 plus 5 gives us 9. So it becomes 9x squared. Then it is minus 4 plus 2, that is minus 2. Minus 2 minus 1x, so it is minus 3x. So plus 5 minus 1 is 4 and 4 and 9 is 13. So our answer becomes 9x square minus 3x plus 13. This way, I mean, this is the basic steps of doing addition of algebraic expressions. Like... <clears throat> I mean, even if it is a fraction or so, simply collect the like terms and solve as we did this. We now move on with learning subtractions of subtractions of algebraic expressions. Now, I write again the first question. The only difference herein will be the removal of brackets and the sequence of how you write it. Because the question might be just subtract, sorry, subtract in the bracket. It is minus 
2 y square plus 1 by 2 y minus 3 from 7 y square minus 2 y plus 10. Now as because it is written to subtract this expression from this part, I will be writing 7 x square minus 2 y plus 10 first. So it becomes 7 y square minus 2 y plus 10. And then subtract this expression and then whatever is there in the bracket, I will write it down. Now this next step is to the removing of removal of brackets. So removal of brackets will be 7y square minus 2y plus 10. And here it is minus and minus gives us plus. So it is plus 2y square minus and plus gives us a minus. So it is minus half y and minus and minus is plus so it is plus 3 as we did in the previous question we will collect the like terms together so that gives us 7y square plus 2y square then it is minus 2y and it is minus half y so it is plus 10 and plus 3 Collecting the like terms together, we have to now subtract or add. So it becomes 7 plus 2 gives us 9y square. Now, oh sorry, minus 2y and minus half y. That would give us, well, I'll let me just solve it. So it becomes uh, 2 in the denominator. So that will give me 4 minus 5 by 2y. You can take an extra step that part to solve the fraction as well. So that's okay. Is 13. See the method between the addition and the subtractions. The I mean the steps remain same. Only difference is in the writing of the expressions. This this is all about uh, addition and subtraction. Now we can move on to find multiplying or finding the product of expressions. In multiplying or finding the product of expressions, we first take up monomials that we are I'll be writing here product of monomials suppose I take up a couple of examples so it's three a b is a monomial multiplying it with five b so multiply the constants and the variables and find the answer then you can apply you know the index laws as well here so this is all about if i'm expanding this i mean if i'm writing this separately each and every factor so it's become c3 in a into a into b into 5 into b so now it is 3, it doesn't have any other constant, so it let it be as 3. A remains, oh sorry, there, there is one more. So it is a 5, so 3, 5 is 15. I'll erase this and write it. So constants, I have multiplied. You have A, doesn't have any, any other A, but B is twice. So B into B gives us B square. So the answer becomes 3, 5, 15, A, B square. Okay, I now move on with few more. Suppose it is a three a b square c q multiplied by five a cube b square c. So they both are monomials. I have directly written a multiplication. If you see, I'm not writing and expanding each term terms now. So but it's 3 into 5 gives 15. Check the like terms like a with multiplied with a cube. That would give us a4. 
b square with the b square that again gives us a4 sorry b4 look at the c c3 and c that gives c4 again so it is 15 a to the power 4 b to the power 4 and c to the power 4 based on this multiplication of molar meals you might come across questions like asking find the volume of a rectangular box suppose all right find sorry find the volume of a rectangular box whose sides are expressed in terms of monomials whose length is given as 2ax whose breadth is given as 3by and the height is given as 5cz. Finding the volume of a rectangular box is multiplying the length into breadth into height. So it will be like 2ax multiplied by 3by multiplied by 5cz. So it's 2 into 3. 6. 6 into 5 is 30. Now look at the rest of the variables. Like it's A into B into C. So it becomes A, B, C. You also have X, Y, Z. So it is 30 A, B, C and X, Y, Z. This is how you find the product of given monomials. We might take a few more. Uh, yeah, we will take a few more of this in the next stream. You might also get, you know, uh, four terms as well, four monomials to get multiplied to. Like I'm writing here the question, it is 4s to the power t multiplied by 3s to the power 3, t to the power 3, multiplied by 2s to the power 4, and then you multiply it to minus 2. All of them to be multiplied. Now, 4 with 3 gives us 12. 12 into 2 gives us 24. 24 into minus 2. That would give us a minus 48. Then it is S square and S3 gives us S5. S5 and S4 gives us S9. So it becomes S9. T and T here T to the power 3. So this T1 and T to the power 3 makes it T to the power 4. right yeah this is your answer when you are multiplying four of them right we now move on with some substitution in monomials like the question might ask you to find the value of certain expressions find the value of I'll write down here. It's 5 a to the power 6 multiplied by minus 10 a b square and multiplied to minus 2.1 a cube b3 for the values given for a is equal to 1 and b is given as 1 by 2. So let us first multiply the monomials and then substitute it with the values of a and b given. 
So when I multiply 5a6, 10ab square and minus 2.1a square b cube, I will be getting 5 multiplied to minus 10 multiplied to minus 2.1 and the rest will be here a6 and a and a. So a6 plus a1, a7 and it is a2 so it becomes a9. When here it doesn't have a b, here we have a b so it is b square and b3 that makes it b5. So it is 5 minus 10 or 5 into 2.1 it is better to do and I multiply it by 10 that will give us 105 and you have two minuses that makes it minus minus makes it 1.5 sorry 105 multiplied 2 a to the power 9 and b to the power 5 so that makes it 105 a to the power 9 and b 5 this becomes the answer when after substituting see you might just come across somebody who can you know who will just be uh, substituting a b here and then finding out the value of the monomial but it is always preferable to first find the multiplication of the monomial and then substitute it with the values okay the next part we will be taking is of multiplying a monomial with a binomial i write it down in the next one this is suppose a monomial i'll multiply it by a binomial and that is given by 3x plus 5y in this case, we will be multiplying 2x with both these terms because 2x is to be multiplied to both the term, both of the binomial, sorry. So, I will be writing 2x first multiply to the first term of the binomial, then it will be plus and again 2x multiply to the second term of the binomial. This is how you expand it. 2x and 3x makes it 6x square. Sorry, 6x square. Oh, sorry, I made it uh, add here. It should be uh, multiply. So, 2x and 5x makes it 10xy. This is how you will do all any other, you know, binomial uh, with a monomial multiplication. I take one more here. We write it down. It makes it minus 3ab square by 5 multiplied to 2a minus b. Now, when we expand, it becomes minus this, the, this minus 3ab square by 5 multiplied to 2a. This is the first one after expanding. And the other one is minus, here you have minus and again this minus 3ab square by 5 will be multiplied to a b. I'll just put this part here, I, I just make some space. It becomes now minus 3 and 2, that is minus 6. So it is minus 6 by 5. Oh, sorry, there was a, yeah, minus 6 by 5, minus 6, Achha, uh, I forgot, now minus 2 into minus 3, that gives us minus 6 and by 5 will be there. Now, let, it, uh, let us talk about the uh, variables. Now, a multiplied to a gives us a square, there is no partner for a b, so it becomes b square minus minus gives us a plus again so it it will remain as 3 by 5 and it is also a it doesn't have any another a so b square multiplied to b will be giving us b cube so our answer will become minus 6 by 5 a square b square plus 3 by 5 a b cube Hope you followed this. We'll take up more on these multiplications and algebraic expressions in the next few sessions. Thank you.